We are back with another great episode at the Main Street Randyland YouTube channel. Hooray! <laughs> I love my stuff. I, I enjoy doing it just for you because I get to show you treasures from my life and the different influences that have affected and formed who I am. It's all part of our past histories and they make us who we are, all of us. And you know, when you think about Disney, one of the things that was always very magical was when you would see that area that you couldn't go into because it was cast members only. You'd wonder, what's beyond that, that little access thing? Usually it was a door or it was some kind of open area you would see the sign, you couldn't go and you'd kind of slip by and around it, but you couldn't see beyond to the cast member, cast member area. Um, the mystery of what is beyond, where well, you, you're not allowed to go. Well, here we have one of those such examples. Employees only. Well, I guess that means you can't go there because you don't work here. Well, neither do I. I don't work here either. I'm just the owner of the joint. But this, this is from Woolworths because we're over in a Woolworths store now. This was a non-accessible area for guests. It was exclusive only to the people who worked there. And what mysteries lied behind here? <sighs> well, actually, it's only a stairwell that would take you up to the stock room upstairs. Nothing really special about a stairwell, is there? Until I get my hands on it. So as we come in, the first thing we're hit upon is a couple of these wonderful framed pictures that came from the Contemporary Resort Hotel at Walt Disney World in Florida. These were the ones that were designed by Mary Blair. Now, people know who Mary Blair is. Some people have no idea, they never heard the name. She was an artist at Walt Disney Productions and she was largely responsible for the, the look of It's a Small World, that type of character look. She had a certain style. And she also had her touch in the Contemporary Resort Hotel with the mosaics that go up the towering spire of the elevator shafts. But the pictures that were in the wall carried the theme right throughout the hotel. And they had them on the walls in the common areas for the guests around the, uh, the lobbies downstairs and on the second floor where they had the convention center, you know, ballrooms and all these things. But in each individual guest room, they had a couple of these pictures over your bed. They were, you know, the, the theming of the room. And these are two of the pictures that were from the guest rooms and they hung over your bed. Um, there was another one on a side wall usually also. Um, this one got a little bit of a damage in transport, but they're still in their frames as they were. And I'm looking, it's gotta say it here someplace. I gotta put my glasses on good. I know it would say it. I'm looking up, oh, Walt Disney Productions. All right, and it says it up here also, Walt Disney Productions. Um, Back in the early days, it was Walt Disney Productions. And there's a big difference between something that says Walt Disney Productions and something that says the Walt Disney Company. They changed the name to Walt Disney Company in the mid 80s because they were trying to define that they are a company that is there to be in business and to generate money, as all big corporations ultimately are. But when Walt Disney was alive and he had everything, it wasn't all about money and it was Walt Disney Productions. So they produced things and yeah, they tried to make money on it. It was a different philosophy that changed. So when things say Walt Disney Productions, those are the earlier years. And to me, that means it's very, very, special, even more special than when it says the Walt Disney Company. So these were there from the beginning when they opened the Contemporary in 1971, and they were removed when they redid the rooms to a different theme in the mid 80s. I was fortunate enough to get my hands on some of them because I loved going to the Contemporary. That was our choice place to go. We always stayed at the Contemporary. And I was so enamored with the room that I wanted to always just live there. And I managed to get 
a set of furniture from one of the rooms, complete with bedspreads, curtains, you know, the whole deal, the full set, the TV, the stand, the tables, the chairs, I mean, the whole deal, I got a full set of furniture from one of the rooms from back in the day when it was my contemporary. But of course, the Mary Blair pictures, they tell a story of the festivity of the contemporary. And there were people, others who have some of these pictures, I've seen some of them available with online auctions, and um, they're not cheap. They're going for you know a good deal of money, and I'm sure they're going up in value every day on it. Of course, there aren't many, and um, there were just so many that were there, and how many survived? A lot of them were destroyed over the years, and sometimes you get just the picture, but the back frame is gone. But here you have the full frame. It's like an inner frame and an outer frame, and uh, you know this is the way they were mounted in the hotel rooms. So to have a couple Mary Blair pictures is really special. Not everybody has a couple of Mary Blair pictures from the contemporary. But do we stop it too? Not I, says the fly. As we go up a little further, oh my, this is another one. Now this one is larger in size. You'll notice that this is a bigger one. This is one of the more confident sizes. The larger ones were used typically on the guest area walls within the hotel itself. So if you were passing by in the lobby of the first floor or the second floor where the conventions would be, and they would have a picture on the wall, they would have the larger size one. They wouldn't have the smaller ones, which were typically for the guest rooms. So there were less of them because there were only so many places they could put them, but there were many rooms. So here we have the larger size one and the pictures are somewhat different in you know theming each one not that all were different many of them were repetitive and i have some duplicates also but the different pictures there's some people who try to collect the different ones and i'm sure there's going to be people out there trying to contact me and say oh i need that one for my collection well i need it also it's part of my collection so i mean uh, i don't think you're going to get it but uh, oh look here's another one Here's another one, another fun-filled picture. Very festive, that same type of look as it's a small world. This is like picture stairway. As you look, look going up. All the Mary Blair pictures that are here. And trust me when I tell you, I've got more. But they're not all here. I mean, I have some still in my houses and things of this nature, hiding different spots. Now, this one, oddly enough, we'll show this one. This is from the Polynesian. See, they had some pictures also. I don't have many from the Poly because we didn't stay at the Poly. It didn't have as many memories for me. But they really are very, very nice festive pictures. They just scream out Disney World when you look at those type of pictures. But these other pictures, certainly in quantity, are all contemporary resort and the different Mary Blairs going up. Here's another smaller one from one of the hotel rooms. Here's the bigger ones. Now here's, this is more like a artist rendition of when they were beginning to do Epcot. Here you have the World Showcase, and here you have all the different people from the different lands in their respective character costumes, which they were cast member costumes, and they were representing the different lands. And this is not a photograph. This is an artist's rendition. If you look closely, these are painted. And I'm sure this is not an original painting. This is some sort of lithograph, but I'm sure they didn't have that many. It's signed, but it says 51 of 250. So it looks like they made 250 of them, and this is number 51. And here's another Polynesian picture, of course. There's oh, more on the other side. You don't want to miss the other side. You got to get them all. Picture stairway. Another poly. Contemporary. Oh, here's an interesting one. Kind of fits right in. This is a model rendition when they were preparing for Epcot, and it is the Imagination Pavilion. Over in the distance, we have the Canadian Pavilion and the World Showcase, but this is the, the Pyramids of Imagination, where Figment would be. And over here, you would have the 3D Theater with Magic Journeys, the monorail, which was gonna go by, and this is a model. This is, this is probably very, very miniature, and they took a photo of it. So this is very, very early in Epcot planning. 
Yes, these are the same, two in a row, look at that. And as we come over here, we have a hidden photo. This is the guest rooms as I knew them at the Contemporary, and here you see one over each bed of the Mary Blair pictures. And that's the way I remember the Contemporary Resort Hotel. And yes, I have those bedspreads. Yes, I have those curtains. <laughs> I have those lamps. <laughs> I got the nightstands. I mean, I could set up that room exactly as it was. And someday I will, because that's me. I get to be a little kid when I jump onto the bed again, even if I'm not in the contemporary and I'm someplace on the moon, it'll still be a wonderful memory for me. But I thought you would enjoy it. And that's why I took you up a special back stairway so you could see what not everybody gets to see because it's cast members only. And here's another door. <sighs> But we'll save that for the next episode. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>